Maybe you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Let me show you why I'm so excited about this for other reasons. I'll show you what I was using at the track here. Get the trailer loaded up right now. And didn't really think much about it, but I'd have to fire up the generator. And then I would fire up this little compressor. Okay. And then this thing's crazy noisy. It takes forever to fire up. And then, like I said, then I have generator going. So it was kind of a big delay to be able to deal with it. But one of the other things is, is obviously as I'm gonna get ready to go on a trip, I'm gonna to wanna to just check all the tires and then I'm dragging all that around. I've seen some great reviews on being able to air up completely flat uh, car tires uh, with these on a full charge. But remember, I have the adapter to plug into the uh, 12 volt accessory in the car as well in the case of emergency. It's one of the reasons I went with this one. Not all of them came uh, with that uh, accessory. That accessory cord is 10.8 uh, feet long. Be able to do at least all my uh, automotive ones and then I could charge it up uh, if needed and get back to a trailer or something. But pretty, pretty stinking cool. And then here's the spec card on this for how much pressure it can actually uh, pump into a tire. And then uh, this thing's gonna be stinking cool. I'm super stoked with it. I'm gonna have links below to it uh, to pick this up for yourself. I got off Amazon. They uh, did not sponsor a channel. Um, I had someone reach out and I didn't care for some things I saw about theirs. Number one, it was round. And I just, what I found from a lot of round tools is that then they just want to sit and roll all over the place. So I've become a pretty big fan when I can of having them uh, where they're square. And the other thing is, this one has, as you saw from the specs, had the large power bank. And I'm I'm just such a fan of, you know, the, the pump that I have to air up my paddleboard and my, you know, uh, inflatable kayak and tubes and stuff is uh got a big battery pack in it so i was just thinking like going camp and having three four different things that have big battery packs would uh get me through some significant time to uh charge some stuff uh out in the woods so anyway we think put some comments below you think this thing's pretty cool all right let's go put this thing to the test we got uh three different uh samples i'm going to show you from a completely flat tire to uh two that we just want to adjust i'll show you all the features and how it works now I am back and uh, heading to the track tomorrow on the R6. I thought I'd just hook it up and try it myself. I could see the spike's been sitting for uh, oh, two and a half months, and uh, I was running 24 PSI, their, their Cottonelle slicks on here, when it was hot uh, with tire warmers, and see it's at 12 right now. So the this one looks like, and, and what, it, what you got here is you got this little hose adapter you thread in, it's got a bag, and then it's got a bunch of fittings to fill up, um, you know, your your toys, your uh, inflatable stuff, and, and uh, footballs and stuff like that. And then it has a charger port in case the battery goes dead. And then it comes with the cable to charge it as well. Pretty cool, but I recorded this when I was putting it away and uh, just thought I dropped it in here, but it's got a cool light, even an SOS light. Uh, and then also there's four default uh, modes you can save for an automotive to uh, a bicycle, motorcycle and then an accessory for like, it shows a basketball for any of your blow up toys, but uh, pretty stinking cool to uh, have those preset. And if you had different motorcycles or cars, you could just determine what you want those presets to be. But this is how the, the air nozzle uh, threads in, and then you can uh, pull that out for storage. There's your uh, charge ports and a uh, USB bank on the bottom and good to go. I remember reading through the manual, it had some default settings here. So you see these plus and minuses. So it was at 45, it even does half PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna, let me see if I hold it, if it'll go faster. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just set it to 24. That way I know I can come back in off the track and then, and then lower it. And then uh, let's see what happens here. I just left the volume up for a second so you could hear how loud the pump was, but uh, 12 to 24 PSI in 59 seconds. I got a couple more examples to show you here too, but let's uh, take a look at this quick. How stinking cool is that? You know, I wonder if it gives that little half PSI knowing that when you pop it off, uh, you're going to get a little pressure out of there. All right, here's what I wanna do. I wanna go ahead and pop this off and then just check it with my regular gauge and see uh, how the numbers compare as well too. 
and I've had this one tested at the track against reputable tire uh, gauges and through quite a few different gauges and they just kept all reading the same so I feel confident about that. So that's pretty stinking cool. I thought I'd throw in a clip of just a totally transparent uh, time frame to show that there's no video editing or tricks on this from a completely flat tire to 32 PSI. Um, it took 4 minutes and 19 seconds and as you'll see in the end of this video I show the battery life after doing three tires, two that were adjusted pressures and then one completely from flat and this is how it performed.
So when I was walking back to put the tool away, I still noticed that from that flat tire and the top and off the two that were half full, it, it didn't even phase the battery at all, which makes sense to, like I said, another reason I bought this one is because of that large battery bank in this one. So highly recommend it from the get-go here. Way cool. All right, friends, there you have it. There's another tool review from HowToWrench.com. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe. Uh, please join the channel's way to support, like, share, subscribe, all our stuff on socials. Make it a great day, and as always, keep wrenching.